murder story. Author oh, of romance one. novel, The Wrong Husband, charged in murdering her own. <laughs> so our Nancy Crampton Brophy, 68, what a what a tongue full of it. <laughs> <laughs> has wrote multiple romantic novels, including The Wrong Cop, The Wrong Lover, The Wrong Husband. And uh, bring up this picture of murder she wrote here. <laughs> Here's our murdering romantic novelist. Woo wee. Some beautiful green eyes. But apparently. <laughs> uh, wasn't. Um... Apparently, uh, you know, none of the family obviously could believe it, but. Let's see the husband here. She murdered her her husband. Oh man, I love the rooster. Is that uh, the dude who did Igor? <laughs> <laughs> when he gets a little older, maybe. Uh, I the new story I have. I I got it off ABC. I believe she shot him. But there's not too many details right now. No, there wasn't. A, a, is this something that's you think is going to be? drug out like the Stephen Avery trial man I mean maybe just because it's so juicy I but mean I is it really though uh you know it's just one of those how long some... they've been living together uh, they, they been both married? look elderly that's some time to develop some real hate you know it's it's those uh cases where you have young people that um you know, you maybe have that young, crazy person, number one, crazy person, number two. They just really bring that thing out of each other. And then all of a sudden, in a fit of passion, one murders the other. This, this looks like this is some, uh, I've watched him chew with his mouth open oh, for like so a, fucking like long. A, I just uh, can't stand it. What, you Edgar gotta, Allan Poe, the... The guy who murders his, the butler who murders his, his hiery, and then he buries his heart, the telltale heart. He like can't stand anything about him. Kills oh, the guy and then buries okay, his yeah. heart under the heart. Now the I, I actually have no, I've never read that and I've never heard it referenced anywhere else but an episode of The Simpsons. Yeah, <laughs> that's the, the only reason I the know of that can't, story. Can't. Uh, Take his master anymore. He finds him repulsive, disgusting, and everything. Murders him. Buries him underneath the floorboard. The detective comes, and he hears his it's heart like, it's under like his the... watch or some shit. Yeah. He basically uh, gives himself away because he's so paranoid, he's... and he thinks that they can hear the heart, too. Yeah. Uh, now, I don't think that uh, this lady... No, that's not how this happened. <laughs> scroll, scroll up so they we do not, get up. They so have not determined... Well, there's the book. There's the picture. <laughs> Look at the, these book covers. That's her. That's her book. <laughs> All right. So she she writes these no these Just erotic novels. This. She this. writes these erotic novels, something we're very fond of here on the on Radio Loud. <laughs> and she <laughs> she murdered her husband, sixty three. Apparently, shot him dead. But in this new story, it has no relation to how the police determined that she was the shooter. So that's obviously going to come out later. I think this is going to get dragged out. It's going to be a blockbuster case of 2018's closing statement. I doubt it, but we'll try to follow it. Uh, and we're going to have a new Netflix series called Making nope. an Erotic Audiobook because <laughs> nobody reads anymore. <laughs> She, oh, she no. done it apparently. Well, it sounds pretty open and closed. I mean, they don't really have to figure out why she did it if they knew, if they it's know. That damn rooster. That's it. It's a damn rooster. <laughs> she couldn't handle it anymore. Wanted it out of the house. <laughs> 